gang. How we doing? You join me today in the other end of the house where there's a little bit more light, a little bit more space, for something a little bit unusual. Yes, indeed. Today we're going to have a cheeky build of the Kotobukiya D-style Skywarp. I borrowed a couple of cameras from work so we can get the full effect. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. I haven't done a build like this. Uh, for about 15 years, and certainly not on camera. So, uh, let's just go for it, I suppose. Alright, let's open it up, see what we got. Ooh, okay. Right, so obviously this has Skywarp and Thundercracker in it, so there's gonna be a lot of the same things in slightly different colours. Alright, so two identical large sprues. Got the black one for the Warpy, and the blue one for the Thundy. Look at that, they got tiny little jet modes. <laughs> we have hands and feet, black ones and purple ones. Purple ones, I imagine, are the ones we're gonna need. I wonder if we could just do an all black Seeker out of this. Uh, okay, we have bounces. Yeah, Seeker heads. Oh my god, fiddly bits. Oh dear, I feel like this is gonna be a lot fiddlier than I was anticipating. Oh god, is that what I think it is? <gasps> that is light piping. You know, someone actually had a go at me the other day because I collect Skywarps and not Thundercrackers. Well, you can't have Skywarp and not Thundercracker. It's a bit like having Blue Streak but not Prowl. I suppose it is kind of like that in that it's none of your business and who cares. Why are you gonna judge a guy for collecting things? Do what you want, man. Oh boy, faces. Comedy and tragedy. So we've got smug face, pouty face, and mad face. That's gonna be a tricky decision. And finally, wings and whatever that is. Oh, that's gotta be the uh, chesticle. It's nice down here, isn't it? Clean walls, sunlight. I love my little office upstairs but it's not suited to this kind of thing. This whole thing is actually really difficult. How do you guys do it? Do you, do you like straddle the camera? Mm, the horse with hands, the horse with hands. Ooh. I really don't hope this is gonna require tools. I mean, I've got like hammers and crowbars and that, but <laughs> nothing for this kind of thing. The Starscream instruction book, that's fine. It's the same damn thing, isn't it? Who cares? Oh boy, obviously it's all in Japanese. Doesn't matter. It's all visual. Sticker guide. Sigils and whatnot. I do love Thundercracker, but for today we're just gonna do some Skywarps. Because it's me we're talking about. Let's pop all the Thundy Cracky bits back in the old box. Get rid of all this shit. And bang on. So first of all, we need faces. So we can make all the faces, and then I guess swap them out later on. Le visage. Le yeux. Twist these out, I suppose. Let's just empty this sprue, seeing as we're here. Oh, those are the extreme robot nipples. The old turbo areola. Let's do anger face first, I suppose. Which one is that? Oh, I should have paid attention. <laughs> okay, that's handy. This is the regular one, goes for the regular face, and it has one nubbin underneath. This is for the mad face, and it has two nubbins underneath. See that? Um, sneery face. Sneery face. Harvey Dent. This is for sneery face, and it has no nubbins underneath. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Harvey Dent. It's funny how those college humor Batman things have come back around, isn't it? The, whoa, look at that. I think that might be the one. How it pains me to do this. But like, they came out when the Dark Knight came out, Dark Knight Rises, I think. And they've come back around now that the new Batman Superman thing's out, and people are getting a kick out of them again. And I'm really happy to see them come back around, because. The one with Scarecrow is beautiful. Actually, they're all really good. <gasps> we have angry face, pouty face, and sneery face. Now, we need to do the rest of the head. What do we need? Six little A's right there. We need an A, and uh, we need this, this, and this. I haven't done a model kit like this for years. Last time I did one was, um, actually I had a big phase of doing model kits, sort of 2001. Got really into the Gundam ones at the time. I got like the 144s and the 100s. There was a little place in Tamworth, opposite the church in Tamworth. I remember seeing the R.I.D. Transformers in there and a mate of mine got thrown out because he was so outraged that Optimus Prime was a fire truck now. Bloody idiot. But uh, they always had like five or six Gundam wing models. So I just bought them all up. <laughs> I had like, what, Shenlong? And the Death Scythe, which way up does that go? Oh, it doesn't matter. Right. With the gap facing outwards, obviously. And then we close it up. Bow. We have a head. Ein Kopf. Ein Deceptikopf. So we can slide in any face. <laughs> that's great! Oh, that's marvellous. I love it. Gotta go with Sneery Face. Yeah. That's great. Next, we need two baby wings. They need A. A. So the balls, these are A, 
and the um, round on one side, flat on the other side, those are AA. It's really unhelpful. <laughs> used to get a Gundam Wing kit every couple of weeks. It must have been 2001. I'd always listen to um, Toxicity by System of a Down. I played it the first time I was building a kit, and then every other time, I just kind of I felt like I needed the same soundtrack. Two little wings on two little things. Now we need his back. Everything's A. A16. This one right here. No? No, that's not it. There it is, A16. <laughs> okay, we're in business. Cheeky shoulder bits too. This is fun, man. I need to do this like every week. Toxicity though, that album was great. Like every song has something cool about it. Like there's either like a cool riff or some great vocal stuff or some neat drum thing that's happening. But after that album, it went to crap, man. Every track it was like, oh, Darren on lead vocal. Lonely Day. Worst song I've ever heard in my life, and they made a video for it. They already had, like, Serge Tankian, one of the most talented frontmen of his time. But Toxicity Man, that was my building record. Mr. A14 right here. This is difficult. I'm trying to make sure everything's in focus. Ooh, that's a bit wibbly, that one. There we go. All right. <laughs> we have Skywarp's back. The new R.I.D. Grimlock has a minicon called Back. It was weird getting these, actually, because I didn't realise there were model kits. I was very lucky, actually. I'm, I won a hundred quid Amazon credit at work. So I, I picked up a couple of albums. I got the new uh, Churches album. The recent Machine Head record as well. But the robot selection is very strange. It's mostly, like, movie one-step changes and the occasional desperately inflated third-party uh, item. They had the, um... That turmoil... <laughs> 250 quid, and then Masterpiece Road Rage for 30 quid. <laughs> so I got one of those waiting upstairs, she's a beaut. And then I found these as well. I thought they were just like little cute figurines like uh, the Loyal Subjects or whatever. Or, um, you know, Q Transformers, something like that. But no, turns out they're model kits. Pleased as a single peach. Yeah, I know I haven't done an actual review for a bit, but just haven't been able to get in the right mode to do that, you know? This is fun. I feel like we're connecting. Alrighty, chest o'clock. So we take this, we put this on here. Hey, it looks familiar, doesn't it? There you go, it's working. Then we get F10 and F9, whatever that is. Come on, you. Oh, this goes on top of that? Oh. Oh, and then the whole thing. Oh, God, that's cool. God, these are clever. I love it. On he goes. Oni Musha. Boosh. Oni Boosha. <laughs> God, I'm an arsehole. Boob activated. Skywalk front. What is E1? That's gotta be this. Yeah, man. Titan's Return coming up. Friggin' highbrow. You highbrow. They had to rename Weird Wolf. They've called him Wolfwire. Is that in? Is that the right way around? Let's use context clues. So that is that shape and that is that shape. So that's gotta be that way around. Yeah. Ah, oh, I already know this is gonna be the cutest thing. I'm 32. A10. It's gotta be this thing. This little Atari joystick looking thing. A tiny nub in here. What little guy goes in this port. Right, so the back, I guess this goes over the other back. Oh, right, this is the gonna be the core, isn't it? This is gonna make the core of the robot. And then we put the back on top of the core. God, so clever. <laughs> Two of these. A balls. A holes. One right there, and one right here. A three. They're trying to build a prison, they're trying to build a prison, they're trying to build a prison for you and me to live in. Oh, baby, you and me. Oh! The Gundam stuck around, actually. I used to keep up with it. I bought them out. I bought all of the ones they had. <laughs> that little shop. I asked them, they had to order more in because I couldn't I couldn't get enough. I had to keep going back and like, haven't you got any Gundams? And they'd like ordered in some more just for me and I bought the lot. I don't know if I got that on camera, but I just clacked it all together. Whoa, one little bod bod. And then the back. Pop them on. Ta-da! We have say 45% of a Skywarp. I need FC, no, F5, C2, F8, F7. So this is gonna be the whole butt section. The whole button wang. Uh, it's gonna be the back, that's F7. F5, that's the front. No fronts, no tricks, no soapbox politics. So that goes there, this goes here. And we spear them both onto F8. And that goes in 
There. And then we cover that up with the butt end. Clack. Yeah. All right. So now we go take the butt and the main bit, and we go. Hmm. Is that gonna go? Oh, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's so sassy. Yeah. 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 Oh. Flap it here. Turny, turny. Oh, wiggly, wiggly. One partially complete sky warp. So now we need A11. Alpha Trion looks weird, doesn't it? Like, the colours really remind me of Squeeze Play. But what is that third mode? A lot of the third modes look a bit paltry, actually. Astro Train. The train mode looks whack. Shuttle mode is gorgeous. The robot mode looks rad as all dads. Can we... Can that catch on, please? Uh, A11, A8, and G2. G2? We like to push the week around. Dig it and dig it and dig it and dig it. So this little fella goes. You see that? And then this goes on the front, and then this goes on the other side. And we have an bicep. It's got a swivel, it's got a tilt. Yeah, that's how we do. All right, so in this next one, we have to do twice. Yeah, they're going to be the same thing, aren't they? They're just biceps. No, not biceps. Five seps. That bit. So these are the same, aren't they? Get off there, you jerk. It's got two purple panels, two little nobbins, and you just put them on. All right, that's got to go in that end? Yeah, the open end, an AA in there. Flatty McRoundy. The round end, you get a roundy McRoundy. And I guess this covers that up. And we just do that again. All the world I've seen before me passing by. Again, not a good riff. Good song, but not a good riff. Actually, what makes a good riff? You can have a good one note riff. You heard Pelican by Mastodon. This is one note. Shun, shun, shun. It was great. Pelican by Mastodon. No, it's Mammoth. The song Mammoth by the band Pelican. <laughs> Idiot. And two. Boom. Does it matter which way around that goes? Is that the left or the right arm? I don't imagine it matters too much, but I'd like to get it right. This goes in here, and we need little fists, and we also have little drama hands. Boo! Yeah. I can see why people get hooked on this. That's really satisfying. It's just a little arm that I put together. I feel a bit weird taking credit for it, because I didn't design it. I didn't think it through. I was involved, you know? I was part of the process. Is this fun to watch? I don't really watch things like this, so... Making one feels a bit hypocritical. Oh, I've forgotten. <laughs> I've forgotten to make the gun. Oh, the best bit. Oh, I see. These are both G, so it doesn't matter which one you use. We've started on this one. Does that need to be two separate parts? <laughs> this side has the gun, like the barrel and the peg, and this side just isn't anything. One gun. People give me hassle about calling Skywarp's guns the Null Rays. I mean, they're probably not, technically, but it looks like a Null Ray, and it doesn't matter. The names of guns in the Transformers universe. Who... who cares? <laughs> they go, boo-boo, and the other guy gets wrecked. Pew. Yeah. Ooh, come on, get off there. Oh dear, I've put some stress on that now. See that? Giving that a nice stress mark. Whoops. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm bad at this. I really doubt that will ever be a problem. <laughs> I really hope it won't. Yeah, yeah, the way that's made, that'll be fine. Left, right arm. Is that the, that's the right arm. So let's do his gun real quick. Don't break anything else, idiot. There he is. And now we need to give him a hand. So we have the choice of giving him the punchy fist. Or the drama hand! So he has most of a hand and ein thumb. So that's going to go on there, isn't it? So we need to consult the instructions for that. Oh, yeah. Ooh! <laughs> uh -uh. God, that's so sassy. I love it. Right then. Legs the clock, I think. So we need B8. Oh, God, those are tiny. Oh, no, I need tools. Give me a minute. Totally missed that on camera, but... Uh, we have the world's smallest components right here, thanks to the world's tiniest scissors. So this is C... Th oh, these are the same. C3. One little boosty right here. A4 and A5. So one of these just goes right in here. Oh, is that in? 
Yeah, that's in. That's in enough. Which uh, I believe is what she said. Get your boosty. Pop him right here. Boosh. Suck on that. So the AA slots in the back. And then we close it up, I think. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. So we slot that in. One leg. Now we need a thigh, don't we? 17, 21. Get off. Ah, how dare you. Get off. Gosh, we've used a whole sprue of A's. Everyone has A's. So we need this, this, another A, and a foot. So the A goes on that pole, and then we pop the foot over the A. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so clever. Click. <laughs> and then this guy goes in here. Yeah. One leg. And now we do the same thing again. Have you heard about this? Transformers album that's coming out. The Rollout album. And it's all gonna be garbage rock, isn't it? Like Bush. Ugh. Who wants to listen to Bush? It's 2016. Imagine Dragons. Who remembers that epic anthem from <laughs> Age of Extinction? Just homogenized Radio 1 bullcrap. Who cares? Like, there's so many like good tunes that have been associated with Transformers in the past. Stan Bush and all that, and Vince DeColas, and you know, latter day ones, there's been like Linkin Park and all that, and um, was it Pussifer off um, Fall of Cybertron? Angel, angel, what have I done? That was great. Or like, you know, James Roberts says that music is a big influence on what happens in Batumti and the tone of things. You know, maybe ask him for some advice, but no, you gotta go with the uh, boring American alt rock. What I'm saying is, I'm not interested. I'm so not interested that I'm actually getting quite mad. Uh, I need a booster. I need to put him on there before we close it up. And then I think we're almost there, you know. Oh, <laughs> Christ. So clumsy for this. My thumbs are enormous. Yay, one little hoof. Little skywalk. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy, I need to give this a trim. If you're an unprepared scrub with no tools, pinking shit. Yeah, and I think we're done. That's one leg. <gasps> oh boy, now it's the fun part. We have all the finished parts. Most of, leg, other leg, cheeky hands and head. This is it, man, it's happening. Do it on camera, horse. Oh no, his thing's falling out again. <laughs> all right, we'll put his leg on first. Yeah, all right, one leg. Oh, that one's come out as well now. Christ. All right, I think I've figured it out. That pulls out a little bit, so you can pop these on. There we are. And then uh, slot it back up in there. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, where's that gone? Oh, what chance does that give me? <laughs> All right, we'll come back to it. One arm. Yeah, look at that. And another. <laughs> so cute. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Baby Skywarp. Yeah, there you go, you can hold that null ray. Stick him out, buddy. That's brilliant. You didn't say the magic word. Uh, uh, uh. So there it is, yo, yeah. D-Style Skywarp, Kotobukiya. Thanks for joining me for this uh, sweet little journey. It's been a trip. I've had a lot of fun, I hope you have too. So I'll stick her up and I'll do some photos and I'll put them on at the end, like, uh, like the Collector 75. So I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>